Hey guys, good morning. Um, it's a beautiful Saturday morning here in Kentucky. I'm about to head out to uh, Red River Meeting House today for Gathering of the Lions. Um, if you live in Kentucky and um, you don't know what that is or what I'm talking to, um, I highly encourage you to look that up today and find out about it. It's just an amazing place. It'll be my first time being there. Um, honestly, I didn't realize how close it was to where I live, so I'm really excited. But I woke up this morning with just something in my spirit um, that I really just wanted to share with you guys today. And so I hope you'll just bear with me for a few minutes um, while I try to get this out. Now is the time. I want this to be just an encouragement for you and to challenge you a little bit, okay? I'm going to challenge you a little bit in your faith. And I want you to just ask yourself, what do I believe? What does it mean to be a Christian? Christianity is not passive. Christianity is not sitting on the sidelines and doing nothing. Now is the time to pick a side and figure out whose team we are on. Okay, we don't get to be neutral. You don't get to be neutral. God says that if you are not with Him, then you are against Him. Meaning, if I proclaim to be a Christian, but I'm not fighting for Him, I'm not defending the faith, I'm not working to advance the kingdom, I'm not loving Him, I'm not serving Him, then I'm against Him. And I therefore automatically am on the other team and I'm serving Satan. Satan is real. We are in a battle right now between two kingdoms two opposing teams. There is a kingdom of light and there is a kingdom of darkness. Good versus evil. So many of us know the scripture that says in the last days, people will be lovers of selves. They'll be deceitful. They'll be disobedient to parents. They'll be boastful. We know that scripture, but we sit back right now and we don't think that that means the time that we're in. We think that that means later on down the road, if you don't understand that that is pertaining to now, then it's time for a spiritual eye exam. The time is now. You don't get to be neutral and not pick a side. By not picking a side and serving Jesus, you are in essence saying, I'm on Satan's team and I want him to win. What you're seeing going on in the world right now with all of the evil and all of the darkness and all of the demonic and all of the warfare is because we are not doing our job as sons and daughters of God. We're not. We're professing to be Christians and we're doing nothing. Christianity is an action word. It's an action word. Okay, this is not your grandmother's Christianity. This is not your grandfather's Christianity. This is not, I went to an altar when I was eight and said a three-point prayer and asked Jesus into my heart and then I get to do whatever I want the whole rest of my life and I'm good. That's unbiblical. That's unscriptural. That is not in your Bible. We are called to do something. We are called to occupy till he comes. We're called to go and preach the gospel. Go and make disciples. Some of y'all are more loyal to a football team than you are to your father in heaven. I know people that will fight somebody, that will verbally and physically fight somebody for talking bad about their football team or their basketball team. We do that here in Kentucky, right? Why are we more faithful to a football team that can do nothing for us than we are to our father who has done everything for us? He's done everything for you. And he needs us to step up and do more. The world needs us. You know, the army, you can't join the military and then be surprised when war breaks out and say, I didn't know I was going to have to go to war. That's part of being in the army. 
We are in the army of the Lord and we are in a war right now. We are in a spiritual battle right now. And you cannot not pick a side. A line has been drawn and you have to decide which side of the line am I on. You have to. I would rather decide myself than somebody decide for me. Okay, now is the time. Christianity is not saying a prayer when you're a kid. It's not. That's not what that means. It means that I am a follower of Jesus Christ. I follow him. Because I love him, I do what he asks me to do. Because I love him, I'm obedient to him. Because I love him, if he tells me to do something or say something, I'm not going to be worried about hurting somebody's feelings. The time is now. You have sat back far too long. This is not, you know, that I was thinking there's a song that I used to sing when I was a little girl. And I, it just came to my mind. And I thought, what in the world? Like, who wrote that? That's not even, that's not even biblical, right? Remember singing, this is not old time religion, okay? This is not give me that old time religion. We used to sing that in 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 my church growing up, right? A lot of you probably know that. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. It's good enough for me. It's not good enough for me. You know, and then it says in there, it was good for Paul and Silas. Paul and Silas did not have old time religion. Paul and Silas had a relationship with Jesus Christ. They took back territory for Jesus. They defeated Satan. They walked in power and demonstration. They didn't have old time religion. Okay. It is time to examine what does it mean to be a Christian? What does God require of me? There are requirements. We said a prayer and nobody told us we had to actually read a manual, right? If you tried to put together a child's toy without instructions, it doesn't work too well. But that's just in my spirit this morning, guys. And I just, this is not an admonishment. Hear my heart. It's not. It's a challenge, okay? It's a challenge for us to do better. We are in a battle. The kingdom of light versus the kingdom of darkness. And we are supposed to be serving as Christians, as sons and daughters. We are supposed to be serving for the kingdom. We are supposed to be occupying and taking territory for the kingdom of light. For God. So I just want to challenge you today. It's not the time to stay passive. It's not the time to stay quiet. It says the righteous are as bold as a lion. It says the wicked run when no one is chasing them. But the righteous are bold as a lion. That's Proverbs. Okay. The righteous are bold as a lion. It is time to use your voice. Like I said, you use your voice for ball games. You use your voice for um, your favorite football or basketball game, for your kids' games. You use your voice for your favorite concerts. You get mad if you can't be home to watch a certain TV show. It's time to use your voice the way that God designed it to be. It's time to quit bouncing back and forth. It's time to choose. Make a choice. Choose this day who you will serve. The line has been drawn. Let's choose Jesus, our, our Father. Let's choose the winning team. And let's get about our Father's business. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Be blessed.